give you two guesses where we are in the hub of activity of Normanton Sunday morning just about everything's closed That's enormous, isn't it? Imagine coming up against that. Nothing. It's full of water. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Coming to Normanton on a Sunday and even the visitor centre shut. Good morning. A warm morning in uh, Normanton. It's already about 32 degrees. Uh, we're just wandering around. Now we're at the Normanton railway station, which is uh, one of the stops for the Golfland of Train that runs between here and Croydon. And we're going to go and have a little look at that. Normanton railway station began in, in 1888. Our construction started in 1808 and it was completed in 1891. Flood trolley. Homemade ingenuity. When flood waters rose covering the railway line, a special motorised trolley was used for transporting mail and general supplies. Fifteen years ago Michelle and Clary did this run between here at Normanton and Croydon and I drove it and uh, their memory of the trip was it was hot, very hot. I think it's about a five hour drive or a five hour train ride. Well it didn't take me five hours to drive it. Although I did keep stopping along the way and uh, getting video of the, uh, the train as it came through certain parts of the trip. But, yeah. 15 years ago. Hadn't changed much. We're currently in Normanton. Uh, this is our second day staying here. This is the uh, Norman River. Uh, Ten to eleven. It's going to be a stinker today. The Norman River at Normanton. Very peaceful out here today. Wait for a croc to jump out the water at me. <laughs> Guessing it must be a massive tide here, the size of those pylons for the pontoon. This is the uh, site of the Normanton Town Wharf. Uh, it was destroyed in 1974 after some floods. But there are sections of it are still here, but all the buildings are gone.
Just been checking out the old wharf site at uh, Normanton. Um, there was a prawn industry uh, in this area where the, uh, the prawns were brought here from Karumba by boat along the Norman River. Um, I think they built the plant here in 968. Which one? Okay. It uh, was destroyed by the floods in 1974, and um, the buildings were washed away. The only thing that remained were parts of the um, parts of the wharf, which is still here today. But, uh, yeah, none of the buildings were replaced, so that's all gone. Mutton Hole Wetlands at Normanton. 120 species of birds. The waters are home to many fishes, amphibians, on land wallabies, pigs and dingoes. This is a pretty big area. This is just on the road coming into Normanton uh, from, from Karumba. Well, there you go, Mutton Hole Wetlands, 78 square kilometres. A part of the Gulf Plains which cover an equivalent of half the area of Victoria or Great Britain. Brogger on the other side of the uh, pond there, or what you want to call it. Captain WH Norman Bridge, I'm guessing that's the Norman that uh, the town and the river take its name from. This is the uh, local fishing bridge. It's got a wash there and uh, a barbecue. <laughs> and a picnic area. And you're actually allowed to fish from this bridge. I think I'm disturbing the local hawks. Use this for a home. This fishing rod, fishing, I can't say it. This fishing rod holders welded to the side of the bridge. Oh, she's getting warm out here. in sunny Normanton. Uh, we're at a place now called Leichhardt's Lagoon um, as opposed to Leichhardt Falls. Anyway we're just going to have a quick look around here.
this is Leichhardt Lagoon Campground. A bit quiet at the moment. But, uh, greeted by the caretaker on the way in, very friendly. Probably a top spot to stay. Leichhardt Lagoon. We well, found this. We still haven't found Leichhardt though. There's freshwater crocs in here, so. Right on cue. Bloody puppy. One of the local residents. Maybe not. Oh, there's another one up there. Good duck. Caretaker's got a little bit of a sense of humour. Plenty of bird life here. Pelicans, Jabiru. Don't know what that one is over there, but he's spreading his wings to dry them out. And this bird here. The spot's very nice. All the trees are full of bats. I don't know if you can make that out there. There's the other side of that wall we were just on. The name of this weir is Glenmore Weir. If it wasn't for the pump noise, it'd be so peaceful here. You think that um, that weir was a Glenmore Weir and it's on the Norman River. So it's just a little bit off the Croydon Road from Normanton on the way to Croydon. About what 24k or something out of town. Yeah, it's worth worth a look. It's a nice spot. There's, I noticed there's a couple of uh, boat trailers in the car park there, so there's probably some people in there fishing. So yeah, nice peaceful place. Mm -hmm.